The Ram just got a big aftermarket upgrade thanks to Boost Auto's new M2 retractable LED running boards. I'm going to review these, talk about the install, let's go. So not only do these retract and light up, but when you turn on your hazard or blinkers, they change colors. When Boos Auto contacted me, I did have a slight interest because smaller people and older folks have struggled to get into the RAM. Just imagine if this thing ever gets lifted. I've never been crazy about running boards that just hang out. I think these are a lot cleaner and enhance the look. But the big test would be my family actually noticing and automatically use them. The best test is with my 12 year old. He has no idea what good old dad has been doing in the garage. Success, he used them. However, I'm a bit concerned he wasn't phased or impressed. Maybe I just need to ask him. You like that step? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Maybe if it shot out lasers, I would get a more exciting reaction. But let's talk about the delivery and install. Two boxes came. One had the motors and brackets and the other, the two running boards. One right, one left. The running board motors and brackets, not too many parts. I went with the gray and with what they call the hex pattern, but there are other options and colors, including how you want the lights to react. But you gotta get the M2 boards with the LEDs. I'll leave a link in the description. The kit has everything you need and there's a great comprehensive installation video to follow each step. If you wanna take a look at the installation video, I included a link in the description. I'm gonna point out a few things and a couple items I had challenges with, but again, for the details, check out the detailed video installation. As I said, the kit came with everything, even a bracket to reposition this dampener. This was no big deal. Two connectors and four bolts, and it's off. I'm not sure all Rams have this, but mine did. Here's the bracket. Now just connect the dampener back on, and here it is connected. Now that is out of the way. I can put on the running board brackets. One big challenge was screwing down the nuts to the bolts of the frame. Through the RAM production process, there must have been some overspray on the bolts, which made it very hard to secure the bolts down. I used a wire brush and some WD-40 and muscled through it. I also tried some paint thinner, but that didn't do anything. You can see that there's a lot of paint messing with the threads. Not the kit's fault, but just something that took longer than expected to deal with. I finally got the brackets on. This is the rear bracket and the front bracket with the motor. You can see the dampener has very little clearance, but it worked, no issues. By the way, I didn't have to jack up the truck to do the job. Once the brackets were on, next was the wiring. Starting from the engine bay, you run the wires down to the bracket motor. It was easy to fish this through from both sides just keep away from heat moving parts. This is the control unit, or the brains where all the wires branch off. There were quite a bit of wiring, but it wasn't complicated. What the heck is this for? We'll get to these. You need to access the back of both front headlights. The instructional video has you undo the fender liner, but I got away without doing this, which saved time. I reached through the engine bay, but I think I was able to do this because I chose the plug and play adapter versus the hardwire, and I'm glad I did. It made things so much easier. You can't see anything down there, but with a light and filling around, the connector has a small clip release on the bottom. And just connect the plug and play adapter and plug it back into the headlight. And there's these guides on the connector, so you can't plug this in wrong. I was confused about this part, but the tech support responded quick and straightened me out. Then everything made sense. 
take these connectors on the left that are from the engine bay and disconnect the two on the right from the floorboard motor and connect them together. Another wiring job is to run a wire into the driver's cab. I just had one wire to run, but if you had the rocker switch, there would be a second wire and you would install the switch for the rocker option. So there's a rubber grommet right here. I'll run the wire into the cab. Got my feeder wire, but you can get away with using a coat hanger or something. I just fed it through to the engine bay pretty easily. It wasn't too far down in the engine compartment. Took off the plastic trim. Also, RAM made this easy to do with no issues. And I had to tap into one of these two pin connectors, which the kit provided wire taps to make it easy. Those white clips that I was showing before. Time to put the boards on. Four bolts, two for the back bracket and two for the front. Once they're on, the kit supplied these wire holders to give it a clean look, securing the wire in a channel on the floorboards. A quick test. Now with the lights on. Looks good. At this point, I used the supplied zip ties to straighten up the wires in the engine and finished. This took the best part of a full day, but I think this looks great. The lights are a must. The boards open up quickly and are very stealth. Again, I'll leave a link in the description to their website and the more detailed directions of the install. I hope you found this interesting and a good option to pimp out your truck. I want to thank Boost Auto for supplying this cool product and their sticker earned a spot on my tool chest. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.